welcome back guys now in this video let's discuss about prolactin i have already discussed with you that from the hypothalamus there is production of prolactin inhibitory hormone which is nothing but the dopamine from the hypothalamus from the arcuate nucleus of hypothalamus dopamine is being released that dopamine is nothing but the prolactin inhibitory hormone that prolactin inhibitory hormone will come to the anterior pituitary will act on lactotropes and inhibit the lactotropes so that there is no prolactin but whenever the prolactin inhibitory hormone from the hypothalamus is not coming then the lactotropes are activated now these lactotropes they will produce a hormone called as prolactin and what is the important point what are the important points about this prolactin see prolactin is coming from the lactotropes of the anterior pituitary i have taught you these lactotropes and somatotropes are acidophilic cells okay then what are the functions of this prolactin prolactin prolactation helping in lactation so prolactin is a hormone which helps in the milk production in the mother after delivery now this prolactin will also cause something called as lactational amenorrhea prolactin will inhibit the entire hypothalamo pituitary ovarian axis it will cause amenorrhea prolactin will go back to the will go back to the anterior pituitary inhibit the gonadotropes inhibit the production of gonadotropin releasing hormone so gonadotropin releasing hormone production will be inhibited uh, fsh production will be inhibited lh production will be inhibited so this prolactin will inhibit the entire hypothalamo pituitary ovarian axis so there is no menses there is no menstruation during that time the mother is lactating so this lactational amenorrhea is because of prolactin simple prolactin inhibits menstruation that is prolactin is causing amenorrhea no menses that is a lactation amenorrhea completed right now prolactin is inhibited by what prolactin inhibitory hormone which is nothing but the dopamine now after this let's see what are the conditions in which prolactin levels are elevated usually people think that prolactin is more during lactation no it's not the correct answer actually prolactin levels are high maximum during pregnancy okay maximum prolactin levels are seen during pregnancy and after that the second best answer will be 24 hours after delivery so maximum prolactin levels are seen during pregnancy after that the next best option for the more prolactin levels in the body is 24 hours after delivery yes lact uh, during lactation there will be more prolactin levels will be seen uh, during sexual intercourse and even during rem sleep rem sleep these prolactin levels will be elevated remember during rem sleep growth hormone levels are decreased but growth hormone levels are increased during which phase of the sleep nrem 3 and 4 okay now after that let's discuss about something called as prolactinomas so in the name itself is there prolactinoma so prolactin secreting tumor see this prolactin secreting tumors are the tumors of lactotropes which are most common and most of the time they will be microadenomas why we are calling it as microadenomas why because these tumors anterior pituitary tumors these are less than 1 cm in size so prolactinomas are microadenomas because they are less than 1 cm in size and they are functional tumors what does i mean by functional tumors they are secreting prolactin yes they are secreting prolactin continuously whenever there is more prolactin what will happen guys now whenever in the condition of prolactinomas this prolactin levels are elevated now because of this high levels of prolactin can this female have normal menses no menstruation is inhibited so the female is going to suffer with amenorrhea okay amenorrhea why because this prolactin will inhibit her hypothalamo pituitary ovarian axis the prolactin will inhibit the release of gnrh fsh and lh so no menses can happen now we all know prolactin is a hormone which is helping in the milk production so in this female even without giving birth to a uh, child now she will start to have uh, milk production from her breast okay milk like you know milk uh, is little little bit little bit milk is coming out of her breast even without a baby so that is called as galactoria so galactoria can be seen and especially this happens in male that can cause gynecomastia decrease libido in men okay decrease libido and gynecomastia in men now apart from that please remember see this is an anterior pituitary tumor right now as it's an anterior pituitary tumor so anterior to anterior to anterior pituitary there is a structure called as optic chiasm please look at this guys here here is the area of optic chiasm this is the area of optic chiasm okay this is the area of optic chiasm now whenever there is an anterior pituitary tumor the optic chiasma is going to be compressed whenever the optic chiasma is compressed definitely vision will be affected how the vision will be affected in central nervous system please watch the video i have taught that see the nasal retinal fibers the nasal retinal fibers okay the nas uh, let me show you 
that is please concentrate the nasal retinal fibers okay there is this nasal retina and temporal retina the nasal retinal fibers which are carrying the vision from the temporal sides so nasal retina is carrying temporal vision so nasal retinal fibers they will cross here in the area of optic asthma the nasal retinal fibers are crossing now what happens in this prolactinoma condition in this prolactinoma condition the optic asthma compressed whenever the optic asthma is compressed the nasal retinal fibers which are carrying the temporal vision are going to be affected so what happens now this person who is having this prolactinoma now they will lose the temporal vision so this condition is called as bitemporal means both the sides the temporal vision is lost hemianopsia so bitemporal both the sides of the uh, both the sides there is loss of temporal visual field that is called as bitemporal hemianopsia it is because of the compression of optic nerve because of this anterior pituitary tumor now let's discuss what is the treatment what is the pharmacology guys we have to decrease the treatment is like you know the surgical removal but uh, the medical management right now i am just concentrating on the medical management now prolactinoma it's producing more prolactin now the prolactin is the one which is causing the gynecomastia it's causing galactoria amenorrhea everything right so we have to decrease the prolactin levels how we can decrease the prolactin levels who is the antagonist of prolactin the antagonist of the prolactin is dopamine we know so we have to give dopamine agonist so the treatment is done with dopamine agonist what are the examples of dopamine agonists cabergolin and bromocriptine so cabergolin is the drug of choice okay cabergolin is a drug of choice for treating uh, treating the, the problems of prolactinoma okay so cabergolin and bromocriptine are the dopamine agonists which can be used to treat this uh, treat the clinical features okay guys i have discussed all the important points regarding prolactin hope the video is helpful see you in the next video thank you